While most athletes have a specific way they like to prepare for games, some rely on pregame rituals to perform up to their maximum potential. Goalies have been known as some of the most superstitious athletes around. I usually have like a ham sandwich or something before a game and I eat it upside down. I don't know, I just kind of started it probably a year ago. Just did it one game and then I had a really good game so then I just kept it up. A lot of players have been known to eat specific meals before every game. However, once an athlete is convinced that the only way to perform well is by eating a certain thing or performing a certain ritual, their in-game performances can suffer. Stories are just rampant about people who didn't have the lucky socks, didn't have the lucky shirt. It's a complete distraction for them, right? They can't prepare because they don't have this. There's no way I'm going to be able to participate well in this event because I didn't do this. Perhaps the most profound superstition an athlete can have is to continue wearing the same socks and even underwear during stretches of good performance. Some are probably gross. You know, the whole um, not changing your socks and, you know, just smell. Not all superstitions are as smelly as wearing the same clothes over and over again. Some could just be very small, continual routines. We like those things that have a purpose. We don't like those things that are, if I don't do this, then this will happen. You know, that where it takes things out of your control. Pre-game rituals have been around as long as organized competition itself. So as long as there are pucks being dropped and footballs being snapped, superstitions will be around as well. I'm Eric Swanson reporting for Studio One Sports.